Welcome to Parker LED Lighting. Today we're going to look at the three most common bulbs found in marine lighting so we can identify the most appropriate LED replacement bulb. Let's start with the halogen globe. The halogen globe has two pins that protrude from the base of the bulb that are inserted into the light fitting. These halogen globes are found in interior boat lighting such as cabin and reading lights. The halogen globe is replaced with a G4 LED fitting such as this one. These G4 LEDs come in a side pin and also a back pin variation. Because the LED light is directional you need to choose the appropriate side or back pin to ensure the light source is facing the correct way. Let's look at this reading light that would be side mounted in a boat. In this instance we would require a back pin variant. In ceiling lights you may require a side pin G4 fitting. To install the LED you simply remove the halogen globe and insert the LED fitting. It's that simple. The advantage is that the LED G4 only draws 1.5 watts and that's saving you approximately 85% of your battery power. The most common wattage for halogen is 10 watts. In this example we've used one of our Neptune 10 G4 LEDs that contain 10 LEDs to produce 140 lumens of light which is the approximate equivalent to a 10 watt halogen globe. The second globe is the festoon globe which typically has two cone tipped ends. And these festoon bulbs are found in both interior and navigation lighting. This is an example of an LED festoon replacement. It's an example of our Atlantis festoon 42mm, commonly found in marine cabin lighting. Other common sizes include the 37mm and 32mm festoon. To install, you simply remove the old festoon from the light fixture and insert the LED replacement. For navigation lights we sell a waterproof festoon globe that has a universal fitting to accommodate both the festoon cone and the festoon dimple ends. You'll find that this particular globe fits most of the Aqua Signal, se signal series along with the Heller 3562 and the Lisa's MIDI navigation lights. To install you simply remove the old festoon bulb and insert the LED replacement bulb. The final globe is an incandescent globe and in marine application they typically have a 15mm bayonet base and they come in various sizes. You'll find the navigation incandescents are slightly bigger than this one which is from an interior fitting. Incandescent globes uh, have two distinguishing characteristics beyond their wattage. The first is what we refer to as contact. They come in a single contact variant such as the one in my right hand and a double contact variant such as the one in my left. The second consideration is pin configuration. Your globe will either have parallel pins such as the one in my right hand or it will have offset pins where one pin sits slightly higher than the other pin. For the LED replacement of interior globes that contain a bayonet fitting we suggest the Mariner 18 which contains 18 LEDs. This globe comes in single and double contact variations both of which have parallel pins. This LED is approximate replacement for a 20 watt incandescent bulb. They produce 230 lumens of light at only 3.5 watts and they also provide a beautiful warm ambient white light. For navigation lights we have both waterproof and non-waterproof LED replacement bulbs. If the seal on your navigation light fitting is watertight you may choose to use the non-waterproof version the example of which is in my left hand. The Storm 21 is a non-waterproof navigation bulb which contains 21 LEDs is double contact with offset pins. This fitting is appropriate for AquaSignal 40, 41, 42 and 50 series along with Perco 200 series, Heller 2984 and the Lalise's Maxi series. The waterproof LED is also double contact with offset pins and fits the same navigation lights as the Storm 21. For anchor lights we have various size globes appropriate for varying fitting sizes. They come in waterproof and non-waterproof versions as well. So just check the inside, how much room you've got inside your fitting 
to determine what size bulb is going to be appropriate. Once again, these come in single contact or double contact, but typically have parallel pins. A final word on buying LEDs for navigation lights. Ensure that you purchase the correct colour. White for anchor and stern lighting. Red for port and green for starboard. Remember, LED globes may tend to all look the same, but their performance is very different. At Parker LED, all our globes have dual polarity, which means they work no matter what way they are inserted into the light fitting. In other words, you won't need to rewire your boat to rectify the polarity. Our replacement globes are colour rendered to a beautiful warm white to give you a consistent ambient light throughout your boat. For more information, visit Parker LED at www.parkerled.com.au. Good luck in choosing your LED lights. Happy boating.